Hey boys, it's Harm None. Today we're going to be going over what to buy and what to avoid this week in Grand Theft Auto Online. Starting off with the vehicle sitting behind me here, this is the Fister Comma SR. It is a removed vehicle, however it is available to be purchased in the LS car meet this week in Grand Theft Auto Online. It's definitely a good one to pick up. One of my favorite uh, Fister vehicles in the entire game for sure. Um, it's it's a very, very good vehicle generally, so definitely look into that. But now that we talked about that, we got to talk about how to make some money this week in Grand Theft Auto Online, and unfortunately, it's not the greatest week to make money. To start off, we have double money and double RP on the Cluck and Bell Farm Raid setup mission. So those are going to be paying twice as much as they normally would and giving twice as much RP, of course. Uh, obviously, you can use these to do the Cluck and Bell Farm Raid, which will pay you about $500,000 for completing it, so it's not really too bad. You can get into the Cluck and Bell Farm Raid and have a little bit of extra money left over for sure, uh, so I guess that is kind of good if you haven't done it yet. Now, we also have drag races on double money and double RP. However, drag races pay absolutely terribly even when they are on regular money, uh, so on double money and double RP, they're just going to pay well, obviously twice as much as they regularly do, which isn't much, so you're not really going to make a whole lot of money doing drag races. If you haven't tried them out, I would recommend it. I'm going to try them this week for sure, uh, but yeah, they're not going to be super great if you're trying to earn money, that's for sure. In under adversary modes, we have running back. Now, running back is kind of like the manhunt series that me and my friends do, uh, but it is an adversary mode, and this is going to be paying double money and double RP. Definitely something that's a little bit interesting. I would definitely recommend trying it out. It's a lot of fun, actually, uh, but you're not going to make a whole ton of money with it. So unfortunately, that is the only bonus money we have this week in Grand Theft Auto Online, which does suck pretty bad however we do have a free claimable vehicle this week in the obey 8 after after and what you're going to have to do in order to get that is uh just sign into your rockstar games account on rockstar games and claim the vehicle and then you will get it in game so not really too hard to do and it's about a seven hundred thousand dollar car it's the obey 8 after after pretty good generally a decent little sports car good amount of customization. Definitely look into doing that for sure. Now we're going to talk about the discounts that are available in GTA Online this week and they're all going to be found on the website. So starting off with Legendary Motorsport, our only discount here is going to be on the Vapid Illusion. It's 25% off. It is a Monty Tech capable. Um, it's a decent little SUV. It's all wheel drive. It's pretty good. Uh, you can put the armor plating on it as well as the missile lock on jammer and the oil slick proximity mine dropper. So it's generally a pretty good vehicle. Definitely one that I would recommend you looking into this week it is probably the best sale vehicle of the week i won't lie however over on southern san andreas super autos we also have some more discounts on the bravado dorado the declassi impaler lx as well as the declassi vigoro zx convertible now i'm not gonna lie all three of these cars are not that great uh, but they all are 25 percent off so if you're interested in any of them now is definitely a good time to buy them but just know they're not going to be the exact best cars ever for sure uh, out of the three of them i would say the zx convertible is probably the best but it has a few little weird texture glitches like this window that sticks up right here uh, even when the roof is down and stuff like that so it's kind of annoying and uh yeah it's it's just not the greatest car ever neither is the dorado neither is the impaler lx unfortunately um so yeah they, they're just not that awesome sadly however we also have a discount on the nagasaki outlaw which is a somewhat decent off-road vehicle it's like a side-by-side -side. um definitely something to look into for sure if you need a good off-roader uh but it's not going to be the fastest it's not overall just the best so i would maybe consider avoiding this unless you've had your eye on it for a while and last but not least we have a motorcycle on sale and that is the shih tzu defiler not the greatest bike ever not the worst but uh you know if you're interested in it it is 30 percent off so keep that in mind all right so now we're gonna head over to the casino and then we're gonna head to the ls carmy and then the dealerships talk about the vehicles that are available this week in gta to be won as well as to be purchased from these places. The vehicle that is available within the casino this week is the Pegasi Osiris. Definitely a very good vehicle. Definitely one that I would recommend picking up. It goes for $1,950,000. So if you can get it for free from the casino, you should definitely try to do that. Within the LS car meet, the vehicle that is available as the prize ride this week is the Vapid Click Wagon. And in order to win this thing, you are going to have to place top five for three days in a row. Relatively easy challenge. Not the greatest car ever. I won't lie. This thing is pretty 
pretty weak actually but if you do want it you can get it for free uh, relatively easily this week so keep that in mind now, as far as the vehicles that are available within the ls karmic we have three removed ones and they are all really really cool vehicles starting off on the left we have the fister comet sr that i talked about right at the start of the video this thing's awesome it's definitely one of the better sports cars in the game handles very nicely decent amount of customization not the most ever but it is still good enough overall this is something that i would recommend picking up this week unfortunately it's not discounted but it is of course removed so that makes it worth it i think in my opinion at least next up in the middle we have the emperor etr1 one of the best handling race cars in the entire game except for at low speed uh, no customization on this thing basically there's like a livery option i think there's two livery options then there's stock with nothing on the car and there's a spoiler option other than that there's pretty much nothing you can do still it is a really cool car but it is up to your discretion if you want it or not you can kind of buy it you can skip it it doesn't really matter and then of course on the right we have the anis re7b Another removed vehicle, this thing's a race car. Um, it is pretty awesome generally. It is something that I would recommend looking into. Um, it's not gonna be the fastest car anymore, but it's not the slowest either. It's pretty good for racing, but it still will get beaten by most of the top supercars in the game. And within Simeon Z dealership, we have got a couple of cars that we've had into the game in previous weeks semi recently we have the dinka jester race car available this week which is a removed vehicle we also have the enos cognoscenti and i do believe this is the long wheelbase variant of it and it is of course the armored version as well so that's kind of interesting we also have the albany or maze and the vapid retinue right here as well as the lcc avaris which i've literally never heard of before so um yeah Simeon's dealership, kind of interesting this week. Some good removed vehicles for sure. And Luxury Autos is as boring as ever. It's just two of the newest vehicles in the game. We have the Canis Terminus, which got added last week right here on the left. And of course, on the right, we have the Grotti Turismo Omaggio. And as you may have heard in the chop shop, we have a vehicle that can actually be claimed as your own this week for the first time ever. And that is, of course, going to be the Fister Comma S2 Cabrio. As you can see, it's got a special little marking on it here that signifies that it can be kept after you've stolen it and in order to steal this thing you are going to have to do the mctony robbery and then you can pay twenty thousand or ten thousand dollars to claim the vehicle as your own depending on if you have the document forgery office or not um, unfortunately if you haven't heard we can only claim one vehicle a week it seems i just made a video about it so go check my recent videos and you will see what i'm talking about if you want to know a little bit more but the other vehicles available this week are of course the lampadetti cinquemila and in order to win that, you're going to have to do the gangbanger robbery. And then for the Enos Jubilee, you will have to do the Duggan robbery. And of course, last but not least, guys, we have to talk about the time trials. Your RC Bandito time trial is construction site one. Your junk energy time trial is sewer system. Your regular time trial is Cypress Flats. And your HSW time trial is up in Sandy Shores. It starts right about here. And it's going to end on the middle dock right here at the end. Anyway guys, that's been it for what to buy and what to avoid this week in Grand Theft Auto Online. Let me know what you thought of this video in the comment section down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, dislike if you didn't, of course. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.